I'm just ready for some sunshine so I can shake my ass in a corset to some bagpipe music. We are gathered here today in the throne because Ren Fair season is upon us. It said the booty was right here. <laughs> it's approaching rapidly, just like tax season. <laughs> I want this video to be a comprehensive guide to creating an outfit for the Ren Fair using pieces that aren't necessarily Ren Fair specific. These are things that you could wear in your day-to-day -day life but then when your friends text you and say, hey, we're going to the Ren Fair this weekend, you won't be scrambling to find something because you will already have it. Things that you can find at department stores, thrift stores, Target, or it's easily accessible online. It's not super expensive. We've got some DIY options in here. I've divided these up into a couple of subcategories of basically just staples that you cannot go wrong with and are super versatile, whether you're trying to go piratey, fairy, cottagecore, damsel in distress, anything your heart desires. So let's just jump into it. The first order of business, an absolute staple. In my opinion, one of the easiest to find. Flowy, Flowy blouses. blouses. I have thrifted an incredible amount of these blouses. I thrifted this one. I thrifted this one. Th I, I thrifted all of these. Okay. It was a really big style in the 70s to have this kind of like poet blouse so it's really easy to find these vintage made in america really nice quality and then the same goes for these kind of peasant style blouses i was seeing a lot of this style a couple years ago in like target you know regular department stores putting it on by itself and, and just wearing it like normal it looks like a regular peasant -y blouse anything that you can take off the shoulder yes put it in the cart anything stretchy like this anything with puffy sleeves in any way ruffles another amazing example having the stretch here is is the most important part for it to be off the shoulder and also you have range of motion these kind of blouses are amazing for corsets belts any type of cincher they're perfect for pirate looks they're perfect for a little bit of like wenchiness put a corset on it and it makes everything better I said what I said. Similar to the flowy blouses that can go off the shoulder, dresses. Anything that slightly resembles a chemise. For example, this dress by Free People. Incredible, beautiful on its own. Add a corset and now you're a pretty, pretty princess. Um, you see how that works? Rule of thumb, if it looks like a potato sack on you, that's the one you want because you want it to be flowy, loose, and then you cinch in the waist and everything just comes together. For example, this one. This is a vintage piece, but it has no shape whatsoever, but it has these amazing sleeves, this amazing ruffle. Put on a belt, put on a corset, put on a unique piece, bam. That's literally all you have to do. You could just stop there if you really wanted to. Again, with like unsuspecting places to find Renfair garb. I thrifted this dress and the tag says Coldwater Creek. When was the last time you heard Coldwater Creek? Who would think that a Coldwater Creek dress would be such a perfect Renfair outfit, but it has the ruffles on the bottom. <sighs> I'm gonna say it again, add a freaking corset. This stuff is like so easy to find and to thrift if you have the vision. So I'm hoping that this video helps you have the vision. Okay, <laughs> I'm a skirt collector. If you have on one skirt, that's not enough, okay? Add another one, maybe two more. Maybe don't even wear a top, only wear skirts. Layer the skirt so it looks like a dress. The options are so freaking endless. This linen skirt from French Meadows, I have a corset from them as well. You don't look at this skirt and think, oh, that's a Ren Faire skirt. But when I put it with all of this, Sing me a song of a lass that is gone, okay? But where my excitement truly lies, fluffy, lacy, skirts that look like lettuce. <laughs> this is my dedicated lettuce skirt. I've styled it in a lot of videos and it's the perfect layering piece. It's from Free People and I've also just worn it by itself at the beach. If you followed me on TikTok for a while, you know how I feel. Oh my gosh, I gotta go get the dresses. How could I forget, oh my God. God. Free People French Court. I've said this so many times and I still struggle. The Free People French Courtship Lace Collection. Dresses discontinued. 
damn it. Skirts, still available, but I also have dupes. We'll talk about the dress first. I only have two originals of the dress in these two colors. And I bought these secondhand on Depop. You can find them on Depop, Poshmark sometimes. And then this is the dupe of the dress. Bought this in white or cream and I dyed it brown, but it has a very similar cut at the bottom. The, the bottom is, is what, what we really come for, which is why the skirt was so revolutionary. I have a lot of colors. I like layering these two greens. It's just so like mossy. And then of course you have the cream color. I have a black one. But then there's also a dupe on Amazon for the skirt. And it's actually a little bit longer, but it's not as soft. Same vibe. And these are amazing for layering with the more flowy blouses. Put the blouse on top, put this on the bottom, put a corset on put a corset on. And then these skirts are also my favorite for the tucking hack, which is where you essentially put the skirt on, maybe layer two of them, take the top layer, tuck it into the corset. If you're going to actually go to the Ren Faire, pin it with like a safety pin, or if you're really fancy, skirt hikes. But this is the formula. Off the shoulder, corset, skirt tuck. Those three things, and you will never have a boring Ren Faire outfit. You will literally never. Another thing that I like to look for, I, I mentioned that some of the skirts look like moss, some of the skirts look like lettuce. Look at that, I have more green skirts. Anything that has this kind of like ragged, I love a ragged hem, um, and Free People probably loves me because I'm like, oh, this is an $80 skirt that looks ripped up. I'll take it. <laughs> you could DIY that, probably. This is like a seaweed skirt. And again, this is from like a mainstream brand. And, and they're out here making skirts for mermaids? Okay. If you are in the position to splurge or buy a piece that is not thrifted, that is custom made to your measurements, if you are going to splurge on anything, let it be the corset. It is so easy to find stuff to put under the corset and it's not as easy to thrift a nice Ren Faire looking corset but it can be done. This is the French Meadows corset. She made this to my specific measurements. Fits like a glove. If you're on more of a budget, Lace Made is a great option. They have beautiful corsets and they're very comfortable because they're more of like fashion tops. They're, they're not real corsets. None of these that I'm holding are real corsets. So when I say like put a corset on, I don't mean real life corset. I just mean like something to cinch in the waist. Another option, something like this that goes over the shoulder. Again, this is something that would be super comfy. Stuff like this. This is from Free People from like last year. And when it comes to thrifting these pieces, sometimes you get lucky and you find these vintage bustiers and then you can just bling them out. I cut the cups out of this one because they were way too big and turned it into kind of an underbust situation. Now into our DIY options. Craft store moss is your friend. I made this corset out of warbla um, but you could just add it to like an old bustier or belt or anything. And then I got these flats from TJ Maxx and I also mossed them as well. And there's like a lot of my hair stuck in them. I've paired this corset with a bunch of the skirts and dresses that I've already shown you. A way easier project, I've made these bodysuits, but these are just black one piece swimsuits that you could also thrift, get super cheap, go to Walmart, go, you know, go, to, I don't know about thrifting swimsuits. And then just glue leaves to it. I hot glued these. You could also use like a fabric glue, but that takes way longer to dry. And who has that patience? You could also sew them on if you're psycho. Another DIY option. This one was like, don't look too close, but it worked for, for what I needed. I literally just took some chiffon and I cut it in like a way to where it lays and it looks like seaweed. And then I sewed the individual pieces to a poorly cut waistband and then tied this around my waist over a couple like netted skirts. And it was the coolest mermaid look. Getting into the accessory section, the section I like to call the trinket section. <laughs> Basically anything that looks like a fairy would collect it and add it to her belt and be jingling around or um, doubloons if you're going piratey, coins of sorts. But this always just adds fun texture, shine, and who doesn't want to sound like this when they're walking around? What we're not gonna do is talk about my organization skills. Another accessory that is generally easily thrifted or you know found at like vintage stores. I actually have a collection 
of these like triangle shawls. <laughs> I have this one that has seashells on it. It's like Stevie Nicks threw up on a hanger. But these are amazing for like tying a wound, tying a wound, bye. For like tying around your waist, tying around your corset, it adds texture. I've worn them as a top. Discretion is advised. Make sure that you are secure in all the right places. As for shoes, shoes are the hardest part for me because you want to be comfy, but they also have to fit the vibe. And with Ren Fairs being outdoors, you have to think about weather, you have to think about dirt, dust, mud, comfy boots, comfy brown or black. If I was going more piratey, I would do the black. I love a brown boot with a dress. I hope this video was helpful for the upcoming Ren Fair season for your Ren Fair garb journey. Obviously, once you get to the Ren Fair, there's a lot of shopping options. I do like to shop when I'm at the Ren Fair, but sometimes it gets a little bit pricey. So I just wanted to make a video that shows that you can layer thrifted items and get a 10 out of 10 Ren Fair outfit. Let me know if you have any Renaissance Fair plans this spring slash summer slash autumn. I'm considering going to the Pleasure Fair in California in April and I'm pretty sure I'm going to the Georgia Ren Fair in June. Enjoy your Ren Fair season and if you see me at one, make sure you come say hi. Don't be shy, I don't bite. Usually. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.